What's the most inaccurate thing your child has ever been taught in school? When my daughter's kindergarten teacher told the class that dinosaurs were vegetarians because God made all animals peaceful, and my paleontologist wife had to bite her tongue during parent-teacher conferences, my daughter Emma came home from school absolutely convinced that T-Rex ate salads and velociraptors munched on flowers. Her teacher, Mrs. Peterson, apparently decided that teaching about carnivorous dinosaurs was too violent for five-year-olds. My wife Sarah is a paleontologist who literally studies dinosaur teeth for a living. She has a PhD in vertebrate paleontology and has discovered three new dinosaur species. When Emma started explaining how all dinosaurs were friends who shared vegetables, Sarah's eyes started twitching. Mommy, did you know that T-Rex had big teeth for eating really tough carrots? Emma announced at dinner. Sarah put down her fork very carefully. Honey, who told you that? Mrs. Peterson, she said dinosaurs were all nice and ate plants because fighting is mean. That night, Sarah spent two hours showing Emma actual dinosaur teeth under a microscope, explaining how serrated edges are for tearing meat, not chomping lettuce. The next day, Emma went to school armed with facts and immediately corrected Mrs. Peterson during story time. Actually, Mrs. Peterson, T-Rex was a carnivore. My mommy showed me their teeth under a microscope. They're designed for ripping flesh, not eating vegetables. The teacher apparently told Emma that her mother was wrong and that she shouldn't believe everything she hears at home. That's when Sarah decided to visit the classroom. She showed up for career day uninvited, wearing her field gear and carrying a box of real dinosaur fossils. The kids were fascinated as she explained how we know what dinosaurs ate by studying their teeth, their poop fossils, and bite marks on other dinosaur bones. This is a real T-Rex tooth, Sarah said, holding up a three-inch fossil. See these serrated edges? That's for cutting through meat, just like a steak knife. Mrs. Peterson tried to interrupt. Now, children, we don't need to think about scary things. There's nothing scary about science, Sarah replied smoothly. This triceratops tooth is flat for grinding plants. This allosaurus tooth is sharp for eating meat. Different dinosaurs ate different things, just like animals today. The kids were asking amazing questions about fossilization, extinction, and how scientists study ancient life. Emma was beaming with pride. After class, Mrs. Peterson pulled Sarah aside. I think you're confusing the children with all this talk about violence and meat-eating. Sarah smiled. Mrs. Peterson, I have a PhD in paleontology. I've published 43 peer-reviewed papers on dinosaur behavior. With all due respect, teaching children that T-Rex ate vegetables is like teaching them that sharks are vegetarians. Well, I have a degree in early childhood education, and I know what's appropriate for children this age. Teaching accurate science is always appropriate. Would you tell them that lions eat grass too? The principal got involved after Mrs. Peterson complained that a parent was undermining her authority with violent dinosaur propaganda. The meeting lasted five minutes. The principal googled Sarah's credentials, looked at Mrs. Peterson, and said, maybe we should stick to actual facts about dinosaurs. Mrs. Peterson now uses the science curriculum that Sarah helped develop. Emma's class learned real paleontology, and three kids decided they want to be dinosaur scientists when they grow up. Sometimes, the best education happens when an expert mom politely destroys a teacher's made-up facts with actual science.